Hey everybody, it's Joe Doom back for another video. Today is going to be a very, very cool video. I'm actually going to be doing some time lapse video for you. That's the reason why this camera is at such a weird angle. Today I'm actually going to put together something pretty amazing. Um, I've talked about these before, I think, or you might have seen them in the background before. Um, there is a company called Metal Earth. And what they do is they create metal figures that you can put together that don't require any glue or anything like that. And I actually have in my hand the Imperial Star Destroyer. And this is one of the first ones I actually put together and it looks amazing. And you can see how metallic it is, but there's so much detail in here that you can't even see because the camera is not focusing. But... This is one of my favorite ones that I've done so far. And there's this detail all the way around, even on the bottom. And I absolutely love them. I was looking at the Metal Earth website, and I happened to see something pretty amazing. This is the Metal Earth Premium, is it Premium Series? Yeah, Premium Series Imperial Star Destroyer. Oh my god gosh this is going to be amazing wow okay just for starters this is the size of the star destroyer that i have this i don't know if you can see this piece this triangular piece right here that is going to be the size of the new one so you can see it's quite a bit large <laughs> it's much larger than the uh, than this one so I'm actually going to set this over here for inspiration. Oh, there's colored bits in here too. That's kind of cool. Which one's the smallest piece? This piece right here. That is going to be the smallest piece that I could find. I'm going to get to building. Enjoy this time lapse. Here we go. Finally done. I, this is a different day because I was extremely tired when I finished and I'm going to show you one more time the first Star Destroyer that I built. See here it is. Come on focus on it. There we go. See all the details. It's very nice. 
got some amazing things going on. There's the back. That engine's a little bit loose, so I have to fix that. And then the bottom. Oh no, stay on the thing. Yeah, there you go. All right, so that's that one. And now, this is the new one that I finished. And oh my goodness, look at the difference at the size. They're actually right side by side. This isn't a camera trick like me going like this. There. There we go. Now, now they look the same size. <laughs> but no, this is this is the actual comparison. Here's the differences. And this is all cool and all, but you're done. <laughs> so let's take a look at the detail in this. There is so much detail in this. It's just amazing. All the etching, all the tiny pieces put together. It's just incredible. Look right there, there's a little turret. Just look at the level of detail here. I mean, there's, let's take a look at the underside. Right here, you can see the bay where Princess Leia's ship gets captured in A New Hope. You can see that in there. It doesn't have that ship in there, but it goes in there. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's little tiny guns right here. Uh, just some of the other details. You can see the, the cannons up here in the front. Just the top is just so amazing as well. There's the bridge. Oh, just so amazing. It's the same on both sides, relatively. One thing that's just super amazing is the back. You can see the colored pieces in there. It's just so much detail in this, and it was absolutely amazing. These right here, these were actually the two last pieces that were supposed to go on here, and they were a pain to get on. It does come with a stand. And unlike the smaller version, this stand does not actually attach to the model itself. You can actually just place it somewhere. It feels a little bit loose. I'm going to have to tighten that. But you just place it somewhere and it rests on there like so. And I think that's really, really cool. So that way you can take it off and show it off. And oh, it's just amazing. These were the instructions for the build. And there's one two, three, four pages front and back of instructions. And here on the front, you can see the three different uh, sheets of all the pieces that were in it originally. I'm not gonna grab all of them, but basically you see that it's basically empty. There are still a few pieces in there. I guess those are the pieces that are most commonly damaged and broken so they threw a few extras of those in there but thankfully i didn't need them so that was great but one thing i do want to point out is this it says 103 i thought it was 103 pieces altogether but that is not correct that is just the 103rd piece individually now i'll clarify that by saying there could be an engine that takes five pieces these engines take five pieces to make. If you can believe that, it takes five pieces to make that center engine. And some of them you can't even see because they're so far in the model. And then you saw that there was three of those engines. So that's already 15 pieces, but the instructions only count it as five pieces. And then it says that, it says do it three times. So after it was done, I decided to actually count how many pieces were actually in this build. And I tallied them all up and I came out with 150 parts. Yeah, amazing. But there you have it. The Metal Earth Premium Series Star Destroyer. <laughs> this is probably gonna stay on the desk because it's that amazing. And the interesting thing is, is that even though this video is relatively short for actually the amount of time that it took, give or take an hour, this project took about nine hours. And it was worth it. If you enjoy things like this, then you can totally agree that 
That is time well spent. <laughs> this is definitely not a waste of time. Especially if it's something that you enjoy. Uh, but Metal Earth has all sorts of different things. They have Star Wars, Marvel, DC, Harry Potter, architecture from around the world, different World War uh, replicas of weapons. I think that's a new thing that they have on there. But they have all sorts of things. They even had stuff from video games at one point, like Halo. If you want to check it out for yourself, I will put a link in the description below check it out. You can't actually buy from their website as of right now, but they will tell you where you can buy them. I found that Hobby Lobby generally has them, but this one I did have to buy online. I might do another video showing my showcase of Metal Earth pieces. Even though this was a very different style of video, I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.